Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So both September and October of this year have been great months for to be a video gamer. And I would even say more specifically to be a Switch owner because some of the biggest releases of 2019 have released over the last two months. And even as of today, we still have one huge release left for October, which would be Luigi's Mansion 3 releasing on October 31st. However, that's not why we're here today. Here, we're here today to talk about the biggest releases on the Nintendo Switch coming for the month of November. Now, not every month is going to be the same. And as I said in my previous video, the top games of each month will vary in number based on how many games are coming out that I judge can be called top games of the month. Now, of course, for the month of November, the list of games coming out for the Nintendo Switch is a little less spectacular than previous months, but we do have some pretty heavy hitters coming out. And this month, rather than a top five as we did in October, we'll be having a top three Nintendo Switch games, because I think there are three games coming out that should be definite hits and definite purchases for the Nintendo Switch. However, just to fill out the list a little bit, we'll be making two honorable mentions at the end of the video, which are games that I think we should look out for for the month of November, but we're going to have to wait till they release for me to be able to call them hits or misses. So stay tuned and let's get to the list of the top Nintendo Switch games for the month of November. We'll be starting with the release on November 5th of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Now this is a franchise that is not at its first installment and centers around mini games based on the Olympic Games. And it pits the characters of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise against the characters of the Mario Brothers franchise. And basically, new to this version of the game will be four new, brand new Olympic events, among which are surfing, skateboarding, karate, and even now rock climbing. There will even be a special 8-bit mode for some of the events where you'll be able to play in a retro style. It's important to note though that not all the events will be available in this 8-bit mode, but it'll be pretty interesting to see how it plays out for those that will be available. Now, this is one of those perfect party games for when someone comes over with friends or family and that you can just throw in and everyone will have great fun playing over and over again. In my opinion, it's just a basically way more polished version of Wii Sports, but at the same time featuring those classic characters of those well-known franchises. And overall, you'll finally be able to answer the age-old question, who would win in a contest? Is it Mario or is it Sonic? Now, the second game on our list is releasing only a few days after the first. And on November 8th, we'll be getting New Super Lucky's Tale for the Nintendo Switch. This game was originally an Xbox exclusive released a few years ago, and it's a 3D platformer featuring a cutesy, lovable fox character. Now this is really a game that is a love letter to traditional 3D platformers. It's a collectathon sort, sort of along the lines of a Spyro the Dragon type of franchise. However, don't be mistaken, Super Lucky's Tale has a lot of original content to appreciate, and if you like this kind of game, you will really not be disappointed. Especially that by the description, they said that there's original content in this game, so additional levels that were not available in the original release, polished gameplay, and also enhanced control mechanics. So overall, this will probably end up being the definitive edition of Super Lucky's Tales. So honestly, don't miss this game if you're a fan of traditional 3D platformers releasing, as I said, on November 8th. Last, but definitely not least on our list, releasing on November 15th is Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now beyond Mario and maybe Zelda, I don't think there's any better known Nintendo franchise than Pokemon. And this will be the first original home console installment of the main series. A new generation of Pokemon is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Become a Pokemon trainer, embark on a new journey in the Galar region and unravel the mysteries behind the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta. 
Explore the wild new area, a vast expanse of land where the player can freely control the camera and participate in max raid battles, in which players will face off against gigantic and super strong Pokemon known as Dynamax Pokemon. Eventually, trainers who possess the special item Dynamax Band can Dynamax their own Pokemon. So get ready for the next Pokemon adventure in Pokemon Sword and Shield, releasing on November 15th. Now, on to my two honorable mentions. So I did say that there were two games that I was going to wait to see how they turn out, to see if they're worth playing for the price they're releasing at. So, the first game of that is also releasing on November 15th, and it's called Sparklight. Sparklight is an action-adventure set in a whimsical and ever-changing land. Battle foes in top-down action using an arsenal of gadget, guns and gear. Explore dangerous corners of the procedurally generated world, take down titans of the mining industry and save the Sparklight. Now the second honorable mention of the month is basically the game with the most question marks, meaning that we'll really have to wait till it comes out to see exactly if the game is delivered in a quality fashion. And that would be Garfield Kart Furious Racing on the Switch. Now the title says it all, it's a kart racer featuring all the characters from the Garfield franchise. So Garfield, the famous lasagna loving cat, is back to take on John, Odie and company in a no holds barred racing game. You get to choose your cart according to the different characteristics and your driving style. Now basically, if this game winds up being well done, it can be a great kart racer for only $30 since it's releasing at a budget price. However, if ever the controls turn out to be lackluster, or the animation turns out to be lackluster as well. Unfortunately, it could maybe turn sour pretty quick. Reason why this is an honorable mention and not one of my top released games for the month of November. So that's it for the month of November. You have three awesome games releasing and two titles that we'll just have to wait and see how they turn out. So as usual, down in the description below will be my affiliate links for all the games we talked about today. So if you were planning on pre-ordering or buying any of those games, please use the links. It'll help out the channel and give a small kickback and help me get more content out to you guys. As usual, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope I'll see you guys in my next video.